Hello student, I am going to start the new chapter in Geography, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. Salima was excited about the summer camps she was attending. She had gone to visit Manali in Himachal Pradesh along with her classmate. She recalled how surprised she was to see the changes in the landform and natural vegetation as the birds climbed higher and higher. The deep jungles of the foothills comprising Sal and Tick slowly disappeared. She could see tall trees with thin pointed leaves and concept uh, canopies on the mountain slopes. She learned that those were conf coniferous trees. She noticed blooms of bright flowers on tall trees. There were the uh, rhododendrons uh, from the Manali. As she was uh, traveling up to Rotang Pass, she saw that the land was covered with the short grass and the snow in some places. From Samila uh, Shalima's observations, uh, we summarize, uh, surmise that there is a close relationship between the height of land and the character of a station. With the change in height, the climatic changes and the changes in natural vegetation, the growth of the vegetation depend on temperature and moisture. It also depends on factors like slopes and thickness of soil. The type of thickness of natural vegetation varies from place to place because of the variation in these factors. Natural vegetation is generally classified in two, three broad categories as follows here. First, forest, which grows where temperature and rainfall are plentiful to support uh, a tree cover. Depending upon this factor, dense and open forest are grown. Second one, grasslands, which grow in the region of um, reason of moderate rain and third serbs funny serbs and scrubs grow in a dry region salima was sharing her experience of himalayan trip with her friend and father her father visited various places in the world he told salima about his observation of the variety of vegetation in different parts of the different continent he maintained mentioned about coniferous forest in the subpolar regions, funny bushes in the deserts, thick tropical uh, hardwood forest in humid region, and many more. Salima realized the Himalayas have almost all variety of vegetation, which uh, one can see while moving from the equator to the polar region. The changes in type of the natural vegetation occur mainly because of the changes of climatic condition. Let us get a know the different types of natural vegetation of the world with their characteristics, features and wildlife inhabitations inhabiting there. Now we are discussing first about the forest. Tropical evergreen forest. This forest is also called the tropical rainforest. These thick forests occur in the regions near the equator and close to the tropics. These regions are hot and receive heavy rainfall throughout the year. As there is no particular day dry season, the tree don't uh, set their leaves to all together. This is the reason they are called the evergreen. And the thick canopies of the closely spaced tree don't allow the sunlight to penetrate inside the forest even in the daytime. Hardwood trees uh, like the rosewood, ebony, mahogany are common here. Okay. Next, uh, tropical deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous are the monsoon forest found in the large part of India, northern Australia, and Central America. These regions experience seasonal changes. Trees shed their leaves in a dry season to conserve water. The hardwood trees found in this forest are like sal, teak, neem, and sesam. Hardwood trees are extremely useful for the making furniture, transport, and constructional materials. Tiger, uh, lions, elephants. Langurs, monkeys, these are common animal of these regions here. Temperate evergreen forest. Temperate evergreen forests are located in mid latitudinal coastal regions. They are commonly found uh, along the northern margin of the continent. The example in the southeast USA, South China, and in southeast Brazil. They comprise both hard and soft wood trees like the oak, pine, and eucalyptus, etc. Next topic, next time. Thank you.